Staffing shortages and upheaval from the pandemic continue to plague a number of industries. The Philadelphia Firefighters Union is not exempt and tonight sounding the alarm. The city, however, disagrees with what the union claims. Eyewitness News reporter Kerry Carrado was at the Fire Administration building in Spring Garden tonight with both sides of the story. Kerry? Yuki, good evening. The union tells me they are short more than 700 firefighters. The city says they are uh, creating fear in the city. In moments where time matters the most. Not only um, minutes count, but seconds count. Philadelphia Firefighter Local 22 President Mike Bresden says the department is short staffed. Public safety is definitely being affected, and we feel it's getting worse. Eyewitness News reached out to the city, and a spokesman for Mayor Jim Kenney's office says it is simply untrue to say the city is massively short firefighters and lives are at risk. The city budgets for 3,348 personnel, and those positions are filled through our current deployment firefighters and those working overtime shifts. Local 22 says otherwise, and they gave CBS three different numbers. They say back up its claim and show more than 700 vacancies for 3,448 budgeted positions. Bresden says these empty spots can simply be fixed with funding. We're just calling on, on the city council, the mayor, to properly fund the fire department. The city says Mayor Kenny has made unprecedented investments in the Philadelphia Fire Department, reversing massive cuts made by previous administrations. Adding the funding for the fire department has gone from 236 million to 361 million in the last five years. Bresden says the department is mostly struggling with response times and members are working overtime. We can't respond to your emergency via Zoom. We have to show up. And if you don't have the personnel to show up, we can't take care of the emergency. He says the men and women in the department will continue to step up regardless. Unfortunately, they're getting overstretched. They're working multiple shifts in a row and they don't get no rest factor. The union says they want to start fixing this now and are concerned if this vacancy rate continues. We're live tonight, Kerry Carrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Kerry, thank you.